What is up, Generals? We are back once again with Ultimate General Civil War, and this is the JNP Rebalance mod version 1.26.1. And we're playing the Confederate uh, Major General playthrough. We are still fighting the first day, or the first phase of the first day of the Battle of Gettysburg. And we're going to try and keep these relatively short snippets continuing on. So, uh, as a quick recap of the situation, we've just ticked over into one of the major time breaks. We've got two hours of in-game time to fight out. Major happenings are that Union reinforcements are arriving from this general vicinity, which means that my attempt to outflank with 7th uh, Louisiana and 13th Florida may find itself, indeed, outflanked. I'm expecting reinforcements. But I don't know from where. I think, if I remember correctly, they come from up here. So they're going to be out of position to really help. And then at some juncture later in the battle, I know that there's another core of troops approaching from this general direction. But that's not likely to happen for the next 20 minutes. The Confederate position on McPherson's Ridge is fairly stable. The Confederate position on Oak, uh, sorry, uh, Seminary Ridge is also fairly stable, comma, given the current alignment of troops. That may change here in a moment. In the meantime, I'm going to see if I can't kick um, 7th Wisconsin off of this hilltop and put some fire into Harrow's Battery, which I am attempting to do. Um, 14th Arizona and 42nd Black Watch and 18th Texas are all doing a good job holding McPherson's Ridge with the assistance of 1st VA and 4th Texas, who are working to ensure that the approach... Uh, the oblique approach or the flank approach um, onto McPherson's Ridge is inaccessible to Union troops, forcing them to attack, um, if they're going to attack at all, frontally uh, across um, disadvantageous terrain for them. So with that being said, let's jump right back into the battle and keep it going. So push these dudes up. All right, you're blocked, so we got to apparently work on taking out General Meredith, which is not ideal. And then just punishing these Union soldiers for existing. Several brigades of I-Corps spotted. The Army of the Potomac is assembling in Gettysburg. We must secure the high ground. I absolutely agree. Um, if, 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 if we are able to evict uh, the 7th Wisconsin from this position here and place fire on Harrow's Battery, I'll advance the 41st Texas to this position and um, dedicate them to exactly that task. Then I will wheel... Uh, the battered 13th Florida, probably to here, so that they're a little bit more secure. And 7th Louisiana, probably to here. And essentially have them facing kind of in that general direction there. Um, facing outward. Reinforcements, if and when they arrive, will go towards reinforcing. Um, they'll come down this way and go towards reinforcing our position here in the south. But the Confederate Vanguard has achieved, I, I think they've done really good. They've done really well, uh, given given the fact that they're they're pretty undersupported in terms of a lack of artillery, uh, which is frustrating. But that's just kind of the way that the dice um, roll. All right, enough flank fire on the Iron Brigade. They might they might decide not to stick this out. Hopefully. Less than ideal, obviously. Three-star infantry, never a good time. All right, fortunately, the large swath of reinforcements from I-Corps appear. Nope. It would look as if Stone's Brigade 1 and 2 are both forming to attack 7th Louisiana. So if we can't really convince the 7th to get the frick out of Dodge, which is just phenomenally frustrating because they've been being shot from a number of different sides and they just don't seem to give any shits whatsoever. All right, let's back off with the Texas. It's not doing anybody any good. Let's see if we can't encourage them to f uh, wheel and fight in a different direction. Yeah, it's just not doing anybody any good. Back up. Back up. This is a threat I need to do respond to. All right, that was a needless cost of life. <sighs> they have been annoyingly tenacious. 
in their defense of that spot of territory. All right. Um, that being the case, I don't feel as if I can successfully prosecute that attack. They have successfully stymied um, my attempt to kick them off that hill or bit of terrain there. If that be the case, we need to give ground. Trade space for time. Like now. Like now. Because we are pretty rapidly going to be outflanked. We still hold the high ground. Um, we're slowly but surely whittling away at 7th Wisconsin, which it seems as if they're going to make us kill all of them. Uh, unfortunately, they don't appear to be trying to push an attack up this direction. So, within reason, we can probably hold up here and maintain a position on that ridge. Oh, that's actually excellent. They're... They're finally coming out of position. Okay. Well, that's interesting. What I would love to do, if I could, and I don't feel confident that I can, is I'd love to detach one of these two and have them come down here and support. Um, it would really go a long way towards... Yeah, they're actually going to push me off this ridge, I'm pretty sure. Nope. We don't have time for a volley. Hold it. Okay. So really quickly, let's not lose sight of what's going on elsewhere. The uh, the Iron Brigade has been the defining unit, in my opinion, of uh, this day one fight. All right, so how is this going to go? Oh, 41st Texas, you poor guys. The Vanguard has just been smashed. It's okay. We can, can kind of con condense the majority of our casualties to the Vanguard. I'll really still consider this a, an okay battle. All right, um, the Blake unit is still doing its thing, working on Harrow, which it's just going to take for goddamn ever with one of them. Uh, okay, they're going to make contact. They're going too fast. If that's the case, we need to drown them in numbers and get support fires. All right, charge, charge. We need to end this quickly and then get the hell out of Dodge before Baxter gets in there. <laughs> Because he's big enough to really cause us some serious problems. Okay, put fires on the Iron Brigade. This Texas Brigade has had a rough go of it. Florida has a rough go of it. Louisiana, not so much yet, but if this doesn't go well quickly, that may as well devolve into just a morass of terrible... I don't think we're going to get out of there in time. All right, you've accomplished your goal. Get up there. Okay. So far, it's okay. But we need to get the hell out of Dodge. I love and hate that this battery is wasting its time on the 41st Texas. Again, free units firing captured guns. As far as I'm concerned, it's it's essentially a great trade. All right, maybe we do just stand here. And this is a, just a two-star unit. It's, it's just a two-star unit. Um, maybe that's not ideal, as you can imagine. Okay. 
and just keep on causing as much damage to the Texas or the Iron Brigade as we can manage. Yeah, we need to just fall away the hell back. Oh, guys, I do not need more goddamn infantry for fuck's sake. I loaded 2nd Division with artillery. What is this nonsense? All right, fall back. Fall back. They have the ridge. It's theirs. Fall the fuck back. I'm mashing the shit out of the F button. Get the fuck over here. You too. Just keep on giving ground. Just keep on. It's all theirs. They got it. It's great. There. Good friggin' Christ. Keep falling back. Keep falling back. Keep falling back. Just keep on running. I don't care how tired you are. Fall the hell back. I do not give two flying shits how tired you are. Run. Actually, let's see if we can't wipe the entire unit. Alright, I could not begin to care less. Keep running. Okay. Come on. Nope. Shooting is not what you need to be doing right now. You need to be running away. Alright, cool. Whatever. Die for all I care. Who cares? Aside from that whole fiasco, but um, Tish, things are going mostly okay. All right, you go over there, you go over there. We're going to condense our lines again because this open field is useless terrain that no one gives a shit about. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, keep running. What? Nope, running. You need to be running. Bravely running to the rear. And I don't really care how honorless it is. I will happily sit here with my eventual artillery batteries and blast you into smithereens. You as well, running. Just keep that distance growing. Tire them out. Charging is expensive from a stamina perspective. More so than running. Alright, cool. Another unit bites the dust. Harrow is slowly but surely being whittled down. More batteries will significantly increase the rate at which that occurs. And if need be, we will simply batter them into submission. Grenadiers are acting as kind of a backstop here. Uh, if they ever do successfully pull off a charge, but the odds of them doing so are pretty not great. Uh, actually, let's get you there. Yeah. Let's get you there. Cover that rear. These, these whole units are basically just useless. They need to just rest at this point. They've taken insane losses by comparison to the rest of the army. They're tired, justifiably. Their morale is weak, again, within reason, or with reason. If one of my units decided to fuck off to the side of the map, always a good time. So let's not waste our time shooting at the units that don't actually matter, shall we? I don't really know why he's getting flanked, but all right, sure. He can't be having good morale at this point. Yeah, he doesn't. Okay, cool.
All right. So you guys actually don't get to uh, sit out. You need to go ahead and spoil against our another flank. Just touch and go, lads. Touch and go. Hey, move it. Oh, like on the double. They're fine. This is going to get real messy real quick. Yep, it's going to continue getting messier. Kershaw's wounded. Kershaw's been with the army for a while. All right, just keep them at bay. Best you can do right now. I get it. You're tired. Guess what? Don't care. Nope, not that one, dude. Not that one. Nope, right there. Just keep them at bay. Just keep them at bay. You all have permission to shoot. Oh god, this is a mess. Um... Part of me says re-roll, but whatever. Let's just stick with it. This is not ideal by any stretch, but this is uh, fine, I suppose. Yeah. Union's got plenty of fight. They've just disappeared, which is just great. Let's swap in the 42nd in place of the 14th, and if we ever get another unit of reinforcements up here, we'll do the same. Oh, but at this moment, all we can do is really drag them down. All right, you and you, just focus on Harrow, and then we'll all put everybody on Stevens 2, and I guess Stevens 1 is hanging out somewhere where I can't see him yet. All right, you're good right there. Don't move. Oh, God, this is awful. It's okay, I remain glad that I brought uh, uh, Johnston in 3 core because the extra cover here really is making a difference. Although that melee, oh my goodness. That was a brutal charge. That really, really sucked. Really sucked. Any time now. Other brigade. Feel free to, you know, join the battle. Alright. Now the Arizona boys get to hang out in reserve. You guys rest up. We'll send you back on the attack here in a second. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Keep on charging. It's cool. It's cool. We only outnumber you two to one. It's fine. Yeah, you're only charging uphill in the open. It's cool. We're in cover. It makes sense. This is very logical for you to do this. Charging here makes makes a great deal of sense. Oh, wait. We're grenadiers. Ha, ha, ha. Let's let you get tired, and we charge ourselves, because I want you off my hill. That's right. They're grenadiers, and they've got melee sword, melee muskets. We're losing that fight. Let's get somebody else in there. Get the hell off my hill. Enough southern blood has been spilt here. 
All right, y'all rest up. Okay. Now, hold your hold your ground. Stone has been sufficiently chastised for his insolence. Pull the Arizona back. Uh, yeah, let's get the Mississippi rifles right there. Um, you know what? Let's just rotate up one. That's cool. Yeah, you can protect the rear. It's a little dangerous to do this under fire, but... I'm gonna mostly be alright. Whoa, whoa, we are wow. So the additional two batteries really are oh, god dang it. Oh so annoying that I didn't get more artillery to start this off with. Gosh darn it. It's cool. It's cool. Oh hey, check it out. Spread out some All right, little rotation there to make sure that my most bloodied units are in the least part of the the least fightingest part of the line, and that we can kind of. Are you doing what I think you should be doing? Yeah, you're just reaping an absolute tally. All right, cool. D gun the Union. Let's just send Cable. No Cutler here. Seventh Indiana back. Brutal fighting, guys. Absolutely brutal. Fall back. That's my bad. That's my bad. I put you out of position. All right. They're going to make the charge. My charge is on cooldown. So we fall back and convince them of the error of their ways. Yeah. They've already stopped. Great. Really, really could use the extra unit. I might not, pref I might not prefer extra infantry right now, but um, it would certainly have its use. All right, great. They're deciding to fall back. Cool, cool, cool. It's back to regular speed. It's already slow enough as it is, lads. Yeah, he's decided maybe not. All right, keep a spread out posture. Let's not get too aggressive. We're still tired. But this is, uh, come on, just figure it out, dude, please. We're doing okay. That was a particularly um, unfortunate charge. Uh, and this is not what I would call the best defensive terrain on the planet. It's okay. I'm, I'm making the best I can of it. But it's, uh, you know, there there are uh, other terrain I'd prefer to be fighting over, all things considered. However, the ability to degun them, the extra batteries do make a significant difference. The the wits, the pounders, they're all doing their, their job. And again, the infantry, the poor bloody infantry is really earning its weight in gold. All right, again, just rest up. I need to just be more cautious with these guys. All right. The real MVPs here, um, not specifically because of their kill tally. I mean, the kill tally is certainly not... I'm never going to sniff at it, obviously, but more, uh, more I'm appreciative of the two long rifle units because they're just... They're just securing my flank, and meaning that if the Union does want to attack me, they have to do it over terrain that's not to their to their liking. And it allows me to fight kind of in ground of my choosing. Um, there's not really a great number of ways to make this particular fight advantageous, uh, but you can make it, you know, less bad. Uh, and that's sometimes the best you can manage. Gettysburg is and always has been kind of a grindy fight, um, a messy battle, and, and in fairness, this is really exactly what I wanted out of this kind of an engagement. All right. Let's let them rest up. When these guys get into the 80s collectively in terms of their stamina, I'm going to see if I can't wrap and push up, but I think that's going to be harder to do. We're doing an okay job. Um, just 
whittling down the Union to the north, thanks again in large part to the snipers. And again, here I don't mean specifically just them killing everything. Certainly they're doing that too. But I mean as well the fact that the enemy can't successfully get any kind of good flank charges off. They kind of have to come at me from the front where I do actually have okay defenses. Or good terrain for it, I mean. Um, you know, all those factors combined make it much more bearable. Like, this is not a good time for stone, and that's not even snipers doing that. Or maybe it is. It's at least partially snipers. Work on Paul. Get Paul out of here. The infantry has stone more or less in hand, I'd say. That one brigade is just gone. I can even see them. That's the worst part. They're right there. 40th Louisiana. On the edge of the battle. If I have them run or fall back or anything, just anything. Ah, it's so annoying. I'm not really in the position here where like an extra brigade would make or break the, the battle. So it's not the end of the world. It's just, you know, very annoying. If I had a fourth brigade, I don't think I'd put it anywhere over here, but the additional brigade down here would make quite the difference. At the moment, I lack... Uh, I feel pretty secure from a defensive standpoint. I don't really think they're going to be able to meet... Like, unless everybody abandons their trenches and mass charges me, I don't think they're going to be able to meaningfully attack me at the ridge. But I also... I also don't know if I'm in a position to go on the offensive either. Which just leaves me blasting them out of cover, which is not exciting to watch, and it's also not, like, ideal. Well, oh, here we go. There's the other artillery. Uh, we're not going to be able to reach them with the Blakely unit. They're fine. They're doing great work as it is. They've taken heavy losses thanks to the opener of the battle. Ah, we lost line of sight to that artillery. Let's see if we can't worm our way around then and get line of sight to the artillery. Maybe even get snipers on it. And see if we can't whittle away at the northern part of their line. Because, again, we are going to get reinforcements um, at some juncture. The rest of this corps shows up. And they're I think they come in around here-ish. So working our way to the north is good. It's It still really protects this corridor of advance. Um, and I don't particularly worry too much about them attacking frontally anyway. All right, back to the artillery, keep them supplied. How are the infantry doing? They're fine. Infantry's always fine. Okay, rest it up. Still can't see the battery, which, if nothing else, means it likely can't shoot anything of worth, so there's that. Let's just blast them into submission. All right, all three batteries. What's a good target? Um, Stone two. He seems like an okay target. Iron Brigade. Yeah, Iron Brigade. Let's do the, everything we can to whittle down three-star units. I'm less worried about two-star units. Um, and these are not going to be anything what you would call efficient utilizations of the artillery, but... Honestly, when it comes to three-star guys, every casualty matters. Those dudes will stick it out through thick and thin. Rested, rested, rested. All right. Let's just probe. Let's just probe with seventh. I should de detach their skirmishers, but the skirmishers are viable. Like Skirmishers at this point in time, because they've been nerfed so hard, they're liable to like shatter the second someone sneezes in their direction. So I just don't want to mess with them. But the long rifles have been absolutely uh, instrumental to what limited success we've enjoyed on, on day one. Move 13th. They should be kind of to the rear, though, the reserve, because they're so heavily battered. 
All right. Can I get greedy and get in that farmhouse? Is there someone here? That's Paul again. All right. Hmm. And there is a battery up here, so I got to watch out for that. There we go. Okay. We have a bunch of really good targets, actually. But first, we shoot the battery. Can we get... Oh, yeah, we can. Sure. Take them out. That's a great target. Oh, and they're pointed the wrong way, too. Look at that. Jesus, H. <laughs> they have so many dudes. Yeah, I'm going to wait till we get a lot more reinforcements to really try and do anything significant then. We're going to have to. I guess he's blocked. All right, that's cool. <laughs> yep, and we do not want to be taking prolonged artillery fire from Steven's battery. Um, if it means that I can't shoot him, I'm going to need to back off then. That's fine. I'm, con I'm comfortable with not shooting him if it means... Uh, not taking further losses on 4th Texas. We need to break line of sight. It's not worth um, spotting for the artillery for the extra losses. Because those are probably, at the rate I'm not taking casualties, it's probably 10 pounder parrots, and I'll be fine. Okay, so it appears thus far that they have no support to their rear. I am now going to attach skirmishers and see if that's the case. Yeah, it's just not worth it's just not worth the losses. All right, get in that house and tell me what you see. And then maybe we'll try and do something with this information. All right, there's nothing to the rear, it looks like, which is good. So there's just that one battery up there and then a lot of infantry on their end. All right, let's get you back to your parent. do anything with that information right now though I mean I can wrap them that's great but they're still going to be in trenches it's still going to take me forever and a gosh darn day to get Baxter out of there and then I got to get the stone out and as we saw earlier they'll just take whatever I mean part of that I wonder is it is it is it three star units and that's what it is but I don't really know all right cool we might be able to knock out one of the iron brigades here which is always a good time Okay. So, fold you back into your parent. They appear to have abandoned the concept of the offensive. Oh, man. All right. To do so on my... Uh, to, yeah, great. So, there's one more... Iron Brigade unit gone. I think that's just this one left now. All right, so spreading these batteries out is doing nobody any good whatsoever. Um, what's a good target for that? Them. I still want to try and see if we can't take McPherson's Ridge. Let's see if we can't actually get some snipers over there to support too. We don't, in fairness, have that much longer left. Ready, 
All right. Um, so we got about 10 minutes of game time left before the time skip uh, or whatever happens. I'm presuming I get more reinforcements and so do they, or theoretically the map opens up or something. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on kind of breaking these bigger battles up into more digestible chunks. Um, it works out well for me. I, I One of the reasons I, I struggle with kind of my content rate is like, this is a long time playing this whole thing and then trying to do audio over it and post recording. That's another two or three hours. Like it's just, it's just a lot, right? I kind of enjoy recording live when I'm able to. Um, and these more bite sized snippets of the battle make it so that I'm not mentally fatigued while playing um, as much. And so I can stay on top of, you know, what the battle's asking me to keep track of. Two. All right. So push you up. Push you up. Push you up. You're good there. I don't think we're going to have a lot of time to really see some of this come to fruition, but that's okay. We're already battering Baxter in submission. Union attacks from the north have really started to ease off just because we've whittled them down so much. It's kind of hard for them to do anything else, honestly. We've wrapped the Union flank. I feel confident we're going to take McPherson's Ridge again. It's expensive. It, 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 this has been an expensive episode. We have we have really suffered trying to hold them back, but I think ultimately um, the expense has been worth it, and um, we've done pretty well, I think. It's, it's Some of these units are more, more better than I'd like, obviously. Casualties in third core are really high, uh, but for a Vanguard, that's kind of always the case, I think. All right, come on. We're hitting you from enough different sides. It's time for you to go. Oh, we lost a girl. Uh, where is it? Really? No, not there. He's a general. One of these guys, probably. All right. I mean, sucks, but that's what it is. All right, man. Give it up. We're outmaneuvered. How much more of this can you take? It's funny, when I'm in trenches, they sneeze in my direction, and my guy's are like, that's it, we're done. And then, then I have their position wrapped, and I'm firing down their line, and they're like, nah, it's cool. Those guys were all assholes regardless. All right, now f f uh, f rotate your fire. One, two, three. Fire on him. They'll just take care of that on their own, advancing. Yeah, I would have loved to move one of these snipers down here earlier. I just really didn't feel like I could. Howard's Ninth Corps arrives. Another goddamn... Every time I feel like I'm going to wrap McPherson's Ridge. Blah, blah, blah. He's going to do the thing at Cemetery Hill. Sure. Oh, but we're going to get reinforcements too. Where in the sweet Christ fuck is the rest of Third Corps? What the shit? Yeah. All right. Sweet. We're getting more dudes. Did 3rd Division just evaporate, or did they not show up, or I, did I lose them all? I don't think I th took that battle. Oh, oh, hey, thanks. Welcome to the battle, 40th Louisiana. Thank goodness the map expanded, because that was annoying as all hell. All right, keep doing what you're doing. If we can successfully kick them off the ridge, I might try to hold it anyway, especially now that I've got... Another fresh uh, brigade to attack with. Confederates secure Seminary Ridge. I, it's a shame that they couldn't put the actual seminary here. It's got kind of an iconic little white... Uh, I don't know if it's a bell tower or a, a watchtower or what, but... Yeah, it's kind of a, just an iconic geographical feature of the piece of terrain. It's just not present, which is unfortunate. All right, 13th Florida's kind of earned a respite, I'd say. And we'll get third, seventh Louisiana to kind of hold the door open. And we'll rush 40th Louisiana up there. Um, okay, so that's the time skip. Um, in the in this episode, we mostly kind of skirmish with the Union. They Our line's mostly solidified, and they kick me off of Seminary Ridge. Um, when Confederate artillery got online, we were able to de-gun them as much as practical. 
and uh, shift some of our long range firepower to the south and almost annoyingly easily easily took back uh, Seminary Ridge. However, the addition of a new Union Corps makes me worry that I'll be able to actually hold it. Kurzanowski, Schimmelfennig, etc. These are big brigades coming my way, and my guys are, I mean, they're severely under strength, they're tired, and I just don't have any reinforcements um, on hand right now. Now, apparently, we we do see them, as you can kind of see the little... Oh, this is just indicating the edge of the battle line. Or is that units coming in? I can't tell what that is right now. Um, we're not going to... We're going we're gonna to call it here for this episode. We're already at 40 minutes. So I'll see you cats um, in the remainder of day one's fighting, uh, or at least the next two hours of day one's fighting. It is my hope in the course of day... Did the remainder of day one to swing um, Fiasco's first core just hard straight south and just sweep them off this ridge and pin them against what I hope will eventually be a solidified Confederate position here on Seminary. If and when we're able to kick them off of both Oak and Seminary ridges, I'll advance the artillery here and bombard them um, around Cemetery Hill. I do not predict an attack on Cemetery Hill. I don't want to wipe them on the field and I don't want to win on day one. I want this to go all the way to day three. So we'll shoot them, but we're not going to take the hill. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Fiasco. Uh, thanks again. Please let me know if the shorter format's working for you for these major battles. I know it's a little hard to keep the narrative of the overall battle across episodes together, so I'm trying to add the bookends, where we were, what we did, where we're going, etc. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again very much. This is Fiasco signing out. <laughs>